All right, time now on Mostly Football, where we bring in our favorite degenerate gambler, a man who knows everything about point spreads and how to zip your sweatshirt just like halfway up. You did uh, a really you know, good man. job of that. Uh, Adam Caporell is here. <laughs> you did well in week one, huh? I made you guys some money, did I not? Well, well yes. So some, some, some people watching the show. For maybe. some that paid attention, I made uh, you money. Before we move on to the lines for week two, a quick look back at what we here on Mostly Football gambled last week. Marty, of course, led the pack, finishing the week up $200. The rich get richer! The back of a big Browns <laughs> bet, Adam finished in the green, winning $150 bucks with his J-E-T-S's, showing that they were a real football team. Got some money from them. James, not so much, going 0 for 3, losing $250. Mm. However... I'm going to show you all how to bounce back, though. Yours truly lost a whopping $300 in week one. That's like art imitating life. We said there would be punishment doled out each week. And in honor of tonight's game in Cincinnati, we're bringing out something truly horrific. This is a Cincinnati delicacy, I'm told. It is Skyline yeah. Chili. Eat up. It's served right out of the bowl cold. What? And, uh, they serve cold chili? <laughs> what? What is wrong with you people? worse than what you ate at that Monday night game in Detroit. It's if, if really not good. <laughs> That looks I just disgusting. have to eat all of it, or I can just eat nah, one bite? No, just one bite. One bite. Enough punishment one bite. All right, it's Martellus the show, so. I don't want to watch you throw up. All right. <laughs> <laughs> it looks like you're eating dog food. All right. Yes. Yeah, it tastes <laughs> like dog food. Okay, I can't even see the prompter anymore. Um, all right, so before we go to the week two lines, a quick reminder. Now it's hot. We started the season with $1,000 uh, in fake money. I just had real consequences for losing it. We got to bet $250 total each, each week. Oh, but now it's hot. First week, <laughs> our first game up. All right, it's the Dolphins and the Jets. You riding the Jets again? We are taking my J-E-T-S again this week. Minus three for $100. Two stats to know. The Jets are eight and one against the spread in their last nine games at home. Ooh. And the Dolphins are two, six and one against the spread in their last nine versus the Jets. So keep the momentum rolling. Ride gangrene. Hottest team in the NFL. You rolling with the Jets, Martellus? I'm rolling with the Jets. I don't know if they're the hottest team in the NFL, but I do think they would come off victorious on this one. All right, so Marty's got the Jets. James? I'm rolling with the Dolphins, and it's because <laughs> I love Miami, man. And I just feel like <laughs> if they had a good time at Live on Sunday, they're going to bring those juices to the football field this week. Miami's so fun, man. You got to bet on Miami. You go We're with emotions. Rule York, number York's one, don't bet you emotionally. Oh, man, Miami's funner. Wait, right. do you love Miami or do you love losing money? I don't losing know. You love Miami. Hey, you losing love money Miami. in Miami is kind of a fun yeah, exactly. <laughs> exactly. I'm going to go uh, $60 on the Jets. Um, I $60? lost. Uh, yeah, $60. <laughs> what? It's I don't random. have that much money. I lost all my money. That's why I'm eating chili. So, yeah, all right, I'm going to go with the Jets. Uh, going for 2 and 0. So, all right. Patrick Mahomes was electric for the Chiefs in week one, but the Pittsburgh Steelers are still four-point favorites at home, even without Le'Veon Bell, who's still on a couch somewhere watching TV. What side are you on, Adam? Give me, got? Give me 50 on the Chiefs plus four for two reasons. Number one, the Chiefs are 11-4 against the spread in the last 15 row games, and know that Andy Reid is a much better coach against the spread than Mike Tomlin. If you bet the Chiefs and Andy Reid against the spread, you can expect a 4.3% return on investment. Mike Tomlin the steals against the spread, only 0.7%. So 50 bucks on the Chiefs, plus four on the road Sunday. That's from the degenerate himself, Martellus. Since I made money last week, I'm just gonna throw 100 on the Chiefs because I've listened to my man Adam. He made right. money last week, making money this week. So let's go, another 100. Okay, James. I'm, I'm throwing 100 on the Chiefs as well because I but think you I love got having my mind fun right. in Kansas City. <laughs> <laughs> Kansas City's such a great it's time. It's so fun. It's a barbecue, man. No, who's that dude? You know, black folks love their barbecue. <laughs> <laughs> who's that kick returner slash wide receiver who was going to Tyreek Hill. That's why I'm putting 100 because that dude's gonna go off again. All right, well, I'm gonna go forty dollars. <laughs> Why are you laughing at my short money, Martel? I'm going forty dollars on the Steelers just because I'm so mad at them for not covering last week. I'll go with them again until they cover. So, Big Ben, let's get it done. Hey, All right. quick, quick little side. Yeah. That total at forty-nine and a half, the over/under. I think it's nice playing the over right there. Two offensive teams, better weather conditions in Pittsburgh this week. Expect points. And like, are the Steelers gonna turn the ball over five times again? No, no. no they're not. Take actually. the over. They're Take not the over. Do it again. All right. Time now to wrap up with the Sunday night game. We got an NFC rivalry right here, NFC East rivalry. We got the Giants on the road in Dallas. Uh, Three-point favorites. Uh, who do you got, Adam? What do you like? We got $100 on the Giants at plus three. Two reasons. 
Number one, I just feel like NFC East teams always play really well on the road. These teams always come to play. You see upsets all the time in that division. And number two, 80% of the money is on the Giants right now. That means the Sharps, the professionals out there, are backing the Giants at that number. You should too. 100 bucks on the Giants plus three. I'm going with the G-Man. Who you got, Martellus? Former teams? I'm yeah. going. These are my, favorite, my, my former teams. I made more money with the Giants. Then I made with the Cowboys, so I'm gonna keep my money with the Giants, and I love yeah, New York City. Yeah, I like and um, I don't think they could get, they don't think they could throw the ball. And I also, don't the Cowboys. Good. So James, what do you got? I got a hundred dollars on Saquon and them. That's the Giants. All right, so he's, uh, Saquon Barkley Styles has all your money. Just yep. throwing money at Saquon Barkley Styles. <laughs> take it, take it. Totally. All right, I'm gonna go big on this one. Bounce back, so I don't have to eat any more this chili next week. I'm gonna go $150 on the Giants. I think the Cowboys are a giant poop emoji. All right, there you have our bets for this week. Adam, I appreciate you uh, stopping by. You want some chili? Uh, I'm good, thank you. I'm, no? I'm good. All I'm right, good. we'll see if uh, I'm hemorrhaging any more money next week.